Okay, well I got the new Sawyer Squeeze uh, filter system. It comes with three bags. Um, comes with the two quart um, bag, um, 64 ounces. It comes with a 16 ounce bag and it comes with a 32 ounce bag. Um, it comes with a syringe for back, back flushing. Um, you're supposed to be able to get a million gallons out of this filter because you can back flush it. And it's 0.1 microns. It's one of the smallest micron filters uh, on the market right now. They retail for about $67.95 with the three bags um, and the filter and the back flush syringe. Uh, I used this the last weekend. It works. Um, obviously filters the, the water. Um, we did filter from Green Lake. Uh, the water was still really green colorish um, and it tasted like lake water. Um, so it's not going to take any of the flavoring out of the water so if you get really nasty water it's not going to do much for that. But it will fill out, filter out the baddies, uh, the Giardia, the Cryptosporidium. But what I noticed was there's some welded holes um, on the seams here. And the squeeze filter is kind of a pain in the butt, I think. Um, I think I'd rather pump than squeeze. It's just too much of a hassle. With the, with, the squeeze, with the pump filter, I can hook it up to my bottle, pump it away, and we're good. This is a little more cumbersome because you've got this floppy end. Um, you're trying to squeeze the body, the bottle down. You're trying to hold your bottle wherever it's at. So I noticed these holes were seam welded here, and you can kind of see the little, there, right there, that little indent. So what I did was I took a hole punch and punched a hole um, through one of the one of these uh, seam welds. There's one small round one here, there's an oblong one here, and an even longer oblong one here. And so then I just tied some paracord to it. So I'm going to see how long it takes to gravity feed uh, one quart of water from this hanging. So we're going to get this going and I will show it to you in a minute. Hang on. Alright, well there's the timer. I wanted to show you the flow rate. Whoop, missing my bottle. The flow rate's actually pretty good for a gravity feed, I think. Uh, we'll see. We've got 45 seconds into this and we're probably an eighth full. So um, I'll update you here in another minute. Well, we're at three minutes, and I thought my flow was decreasing, but in actuality, um, I don't think it decreased. It just got to where the stream wasn't dropping anymore. It was just running steady and quieted down at me. So we're at 319, and we're almost there. Uh, now, of course, if you wanted a, a little bit quicker water flow here, just give it a squeeze, and you're going to fill it up even faster. So there we go, three and a half minutes, and we have one quart of filtered water. Uh, I like it. I'm pretty impressed. Um, I think also what you could do is there's there's some other things that I'm going to do. Uh, um, I have a uh, water bladder here that has a wide mouth um, with a hose, and there's a hose adapter. Uh, that we can put on the water filter and I think I'm gonna do that. It's supposed to be to hook up to this to drink out of the bag but I think we're gonna make a gravity filter um, out of it this way. So I'm gonna get back on another video on that. Um, the only issue that I have with the squeeze filter too also with this bag is it's got a really small opening and it's very difficult to fill up. Um, you can't just stick the bag in the water because the bag collapses. So what I ended up doing was just taking my cook pot, because I'm going to heat it up anyways, um, just took this, filled it up, it's got a nice little small spout to it, pour it right in the bag, fill it up that way. Uh, about two and a half of these and that thing was full. Um, so really, you know, you're going to have a cook pot with you anyways, so you can use that to fill it up. Well, thanks for checking us out. Talk to you later.